Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to do yet another foundation review with the title you would have seen. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Now, this is a hyped up product because their concealer was such a huge hit and they brought this baby out. I think two to three months back, it was launched worldwide. And finally, this is available in India a little bit early. Like any other product I've seen that they launch like after a year or after like two years or some products after like six years. So I'm really happy that they launched this like in two to three months time in India. So before we can jump right into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So I picked this foundation from hrkmakeup.com. This is not yet available on Nykaa and this is priced at 1450 rupees for 23 ml of product. So before we talk about the uh, the description and the packaging and etc etc, I just want to touch base on the price point. Uh, like I said, it's priced at 1450 rupees which is actually not that cheap because when you compare it to the UK website, they sell this for £9 and in the US website, it is $12. And when you convert that, you get approximately about 870-ish Indian rupees. And this is 1450. That's a huge hike in the price point. I get that, you know, the profit, the customs, shipping, whatever, that is all involved. But there are other brands like Wet n Wild, which actually sticks to the price point, as well as Maybelline. They also stick to the price point. So that is something that I just want to let you guys know before I can jump into the description and everything else. So first we will talk about the packaging. The packaging is very nice. It's a frosted glass bottle. It's heavy. It feels luxurious and it has this rose gold kind of a theme going on which I really like that. And when you compare it to the size of the concealer, this is how big it is. It's like this is the mama and it popped out the concealer as a baby even though the concealer came first and then was a foundation. But this is how the size difference is. Now, I got the shade F10.5 and my concealer shade is F10. So, yeah. Now, this is how big the Dofer applicator is. It is huge, it's humongous. And there is a small little dent inside which I feel that it accumulates the product which is good. As well as this is the concealer. This is how the size difference is. So they offer about 20 shades in India. Worldwide it is about 24 shades. And I still feel that the darker shade range is good. It is decent because it starts, I mean, I feel personally feel the tanner shades is like F14 and it goes up to F18, which is a beautiful chocolatey shade. So that's with the shade range. So let's jump into the details and the description of this product on their website. Now it says, uh, I think this is the tagline. So it says ageless, which is nice. Uh, unisex, which is amazing. So be you, do you, that's awesome. Uh, affordable, hmm, not so much. And yours. Uh, new to the conceal and define family, meet or conceal and define full coverage foundation offering lightweight yet buildable coverage in 24 skin to shades. 24? They have 20 in India. Wait, did they just copy paste from their original website? Let me just check that. And yes, they have copy pasted it from their original website. So I hope they kind of changed this. They edited it to 20 skin true shades, which is in India. Or I, I don't know, maybe they will bring out the four extra shades in the future. I don't know, whatever. This is the part I was searching for. That is, it is vegan, cruelty free, paraben free and oil free. Now the last part is music to my ears for my oily ass skin. Now. Finally, we're gonna move on to the application of the product. So a quick close-up of how my face is looking without any product. Now, this acne over here kind of has gone down. This is going down. And this is like the bad side of my face. And this is the good side, kind of, comparatively. So this is the good side of the face. I do have some few breakouts over here. I do not know why and uh, overall over here as well it is kind of healing over here so that is also there so let's go into the application now as always i'll be doing one side of my face with a brush and the other side with a beauty blender 
Now let's swipe and see on the shade. I did swatch it earlier, it seemed totally fine. But let's see. Yeah, I think this is a good match. It's just one dip and I'm gonna see how this Like I said, this is amazing for a lazy person like me, but at the same time having so many breakouts, I'm like kind of iffy. Oh, and uh, also I already did prime my face. I used a moisturizer, the Clinique Prep and Start Moisturizer. So I just want to let you guys know. So I'm going to do the brush on this side and hope for the best. This has given an amazing coverage. I mean, look at that. This is awesome. And this is just like, and it feels very light. Coverage is amazing. But for my discolored side over here, there is few more blemishes that I want to personally kind of like hide. I'm just gonna use this spot. Now we're gonna move on to the beauty blender side. So this is how it's looking on this side. It has given an amazing coverage. So now I'm going to use the concealer, it is their same Conceal and Define and it is in the shade C10 and you can actually see the color difference. So this is after the concealer has been applied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and be right back. So I have finished the full face of my makeup and uh, just to let you guys know I have not added any highlighter because I want to see how my oily skin reacts to it because it gets really shiny throughout the day. So I have skipped on the highlighter on my face, but I have used a little bit of highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes. And I have also not contoured my face, uh, but I have contoured my nose a little bit and uh, that is it. It was pretty quick and simple. So this is the finished face. Uh, let me quickly take you guys to uh, the natural lighting. Okay, so this is how my face is looking in natural light. I have not even put on the light in the room and it looks amazing. Like, look at the coverage. Look how even my skin is looking. It is so beautiful and unreal. So this is how it looks, you guys. It is amazing. The time right now is about... So it is about five more minutes for 3.30. So that is the time. So hello and I'm back. So this is how my face is looking right now. It has been a little over seven hours and uh, this is how shiny i'm looking so if i see close up um right now i feel that the product is still there and uh, in person though in person i can still i can i feel that the pores have been emphasized on my face uh, i did use a moisturizer not a pore minimizer but at that time the smooth skin that was there but right now it basically looks like a strawberry skin you know you you know the spores on it so that's how it's looking but otherwise i can still see the product 
uh, however around my spots and blemishes like from far away you cannot see that but close up I feel that that has worn off just on those spots uh, it is extremely shiny and also please do not mind uh, on the kajal because it has worn off and I did not bother applying it because I'm literally going to remove this after this video once I finish filming this and if you guys remember I did not use any highlighter on my face I did not contour just a blush and uh, this I did was only nose contour and on the highlighter I think I uh, not I think I know uh, that I did apply it on the inner corners of my eyes and that has completely vanished so thank you oily skin and uh, apart from that it looks okay uh, let me just quickly zoom you guys in not zoom you guys but i'm gonna come closer and so this is how my skin is looking so far my ring light is literally reflecting off my freaking nose <laughs> So we have a fresh blotting sheet and So this is the amount of oil that has been secreted out of my face after using this product and not blotting in like 7 hours. So this is still good you guys, like look at it, it's all matte, it's popping, it's good. Uh, still a lot of coverage, not a lot but there is quite a bit of coverage and if I just add a little bit of press powder or a loose powder over this, I am good to go for another 3 hours or so. So this is... A good sign now moving to the pros and cons the first pro is going to be is the dopant applicator it is huge it was perfect it is amazing for a lazy person like me so that's the first pro the second one is going to be on the coverage and the non cakey feeling so like I said before it was so light and comfortable on my skin it was not tacky it was not like as though I put on a foundation it was so amazing also the fact that it had even out my skin tone the coverage for covering up my pores and blemishes was amazing just a little bit on the very protruding blemishes i just had to spot not conceal but kind of spot foundation like spot it on my skin on the problematic areas and it was perfect the third point is going to be on the shade range which is good with 20 shades so that is a very good shade range in india uh, when you compare it to other brands which is a uh, quite less so 20 shade range is amazing now the fourth point is going to be on the non cakey feeling even after seven hours of application so it was not that cakey it never uh, sat into my fine lines or anything as such it was perfect I just had to blot it and I was good to go after seven hours and the last pro is going to be that it was really good until five hours so until 5 hours, I could not feel the foundation being really heavy. For my oily skin, usually uh, the worst foundation I think was like in an hour, an hour and a half. I could feel the heaviness of the foundation on my skin and it was breaking apart. So that never happened. So these are my pros. Now for the cons, the first one has to be on the price point because the price hike of 1450 rupees is a huge hike when you compare it to how much they're selling for worldwide, which is around nine pounds as well as in $12. So when you compare that, the price range is a bit higher than I was actually expecting it to be. So personally, I feel that is a huge con. The second will be on the applicator. Yes, I did mention the applicator as a pro as well, but for someone who has an active acne, I really do not find it very sanitary to kind of use it. So I'm kind of in between about the applicator. Like I'm not very okay with the 
hygiene part of it because if I'm using it on an active breakout like this is a proper active breakout so if I'm using that over there and then dipping it back into the whole container that's gonna kind of contaminate it so that way I am kind of like completely in between when it comes to the applicator so these are the two cons for me so all in all I will be recommending this foundation the reason is because the pros have outweighed the cons and again this is a personal choice about the price point so this is my personal thought on the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation so that is it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button and uh, do not forget to comment down below if you have any questions i'll reply back to you also do not forget to follow me on my social media which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's Nishanayar on Twitter. So until the next video, take care. Bye. Lucky, I hate this hair color because I wanted this color throughout and I got this as well. Which I ain't happy about. Planning to change it today. Oh.